So I was supposed to go to the DSPO file and show you a very neat utility, actually, which can be used to just show how a translated PO file may look like in a, some languages. This is mainly a tool dedicated for translator, not for package maintainer. Assume you are a translator, you have the source code of, a, of this very nice hello package. You are the Swedish translator. You want to see how your templates will look like after you have translated them. And uh, you just use this neat PO.conf display PO utility, very well named by Denis, and just use it. Yo. You just see the note. Why is it in English, by the way? It should be in Swedish. That's not good. Of course, I'm using an English locale, so it's in English. So let's be neat. Ah, oh, not seeing my display is very annoying, and I'm afraid it will be even worse here, and it won't work. Let's bet it, and no more. Yes, it works. It doesn't work. I think. Uh, the presentation was completely screwed because it was supposed to be happen before I fuzzy translation. If you remember, I corrected a few typos in the original file. Then the translation went screwed, and then it doesn't. It only displays English and not Swedish anymore. Okay, because something is uh, broken in the Swedish translation. Okay, we'll fix it. Just use VI because I will do exactly what you shouldn't do. Oh, nice, fuzzy, fuzzy, go away, dd, pluff. No fuzzy. I think this is that one. And of course, no, the note is still configured. Uh, very nice demo, by the way. But I think you get the point. The point was showing you the, um, how it may work. I have actually no idea why this note is not translated, frankly speaking. Of course, I'm trying to display a uh, French translation with a Swedish locale, which is not a very good idea. But the point is, you have, as translators of PO DebConf uh, templates, all the tools needed to check that the translation are correct and fit correct in a screen, for instance, which is a good idea if the original strings are not too long. Okay, so I hope some of the package maintainers have, re have read this note. Please don't use silly notes in your packages. Please, gentlemen and ladies, don't do. Okay. Let's go back to the topic and try to talk about man pages because I wanted to show it to you. Okay, this was supposed man page. Ah, we have it. Everyone is here waiting for me to talk about man page translation. Okay, the problem with man pages translation now, what is so painful? Mostly because many translation projects are made outside the project. So you have uh, upstream and very far away, you have the translation project. They don't clo work very close together. The traditional model, the maintenance is painful. The traditional model, what it is, it is just picking up the original, copy it with a .fr or .fi for finish, and just translate inside the main page. Very painful and actually impossible to maintain because there is no way to sh see when there is a difference. If I show you, and I've come back to my man stuff, okay, and I should be supposed to show you the, diff the man page of CHSH, which is a very nice tool in the shadow, okay, nice man page. Well written, and now I show you the Indonesian translation. Okay? Sounds strange. Okay? There's only one uh, argument here, and now we have a lot of arguments. So here is a bad translation because it's not up to date. But actually, we have it in the shadow package. 
because there is absolutely no way to know that this man page is outdated, okay? <clears throat> there is no relation between original and translation. This is the main problem with the original man pages. Okay, so you shall use PO. All translators like PO, and there are good tools, by the way. We have uh, several tools. We have PO4A. PO4A is packaged in Debian. It has been written by a few Debian developers. Uh, there is a project on Elliot, and this is the thing I will try to sell you. We have XML2PO, which is in the package GNOME doc utils, and we have the POXML package. Why uh, am I talking about XML because mainly XML is often used as a source for man package in several uh, software. Okay. So let's talk about PO4A because I told you this is what I will try to sell you. So Martin and Denis, Martin Quinson, Martin Quinson, if you want to pronounce it the English way, Martin Quinson and Denis Barbier. Did he left? Denis, raise your hand. He's not here. Okay, he left. In the, the strings are extracted from the original files. They are translated into the PO file, and they are re-injected into newly created map pages. The point is, when the PO file is not up to date, you have the opportunity to get the original English. So the map page is always up to date, even if it's a mix of English and the original language. This is not very good, but this is better than what you saw for Indonesian, because the man page is always the same than the original one. It has the same structure. So, yes. <coughs> so let's try the journey of a translated man page. I have to say that all of these things have been written not only by me, but by Nicolas François, François who just sits over here, which he, who is, happens to be our deep. Please raise your hand. Yeah, thank you, Nicolas. And is the, yes, is the French specialist of uh, man page translation. The, the point is we reuse an existing translation, and I will show you one of these neat tools we have PO4A get text ties. Wow, nice. Then we update the PO file with the original with another need tool from the PO4A package. Then we complete, this is uh, translator's work, complete, correct, and of course break the PO file just like I did with the Klingon a few minutes ago. And from this PO file, generate the translated man page with yet another tool. Let's try to do it, and let's fail, of course. I should have here a very nice command line because I knew I would be unable to type it anyway. So I have a go, okay. It uses PO4A get text ties with a few command lines, utility. Basically, I have it in this, uh, in this directory a few files, most of them are useless. The main point is I have a unique man page and the current translation in German. Okay, they are supposed to have the same. Um, I will remove the OPO file and I just run this utility. Oh, not very impressive, yeah? But now in German, oh, this man page. Okay, typical man page stuff. So very cryptic things, of course, which are barely to left untranslated, but all the translation are over here. Everything, everything is fuzzy. Why? Because it has to be checked. Currently, we don't know if this translation is correct, but we have the material to update it. Okay, this comes back. So we update with the original and then complete then generate the translate man page. So originally it was not meant to be a full demo, so I'm not sure I can do it. Can I? Yeah, you're sure of what you send me, okay. So I was supposed to 
update the PO files. So PO for A, it, it yeah, update PO. No, you have, you uh, it won't work. Uh, help me. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is yeah. He is the specialist. I'm the dumb user. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Pure for a. This is a nice tutorial. Okay. The format is supposed to be man, right? The master document is supposed to be unique. And the translated the PO file is the. Dot PO. Am I right, Nicola? Right. Completely right. So it should work. You blame it if, if it doesn't work. Well, thank you, Nicola. <laughs> so, barely we have generated a unique, that one. Okay. And of course, it seems to speak German, at least. No, it doesn't. This wasn't prepared. I was supposed to skip over all these things and just say there are very nice utility to do all the stuff and go to Nicola after this for, to know the deep details. So I will skip over and stop uh, being ridiculous. Okay, there are very nice utilities to make all this stuff very well. And believe me, it works. Oh, pure, yeah, PO4A rocks. I don't rock, but PO4A rocks. So currently, we have very few packages using PO4A. We have, as far as we know, APT show versions and PO4A itself, of course. Uh, it's internally used by people translating man pages in the French team. They pick up the man page to translate, and with PO4A, then we work. I don't really do man page translation, but we work with generate PO files and work on it, review the PO files, and then regenerate the translated man pages, and we send them to the original author. Very soon, we, I was supposed to talk with, of this with a Scott Remnant. Very soon we shall, we will PO4A depackage and apt. This is a project currently running, and very soon, uh, dpackage man pages, all dpackage man pages will be translatable using PO4A. And of course, PO4A works. So, well, this was supposed to be lesson number five. We had four of them before. I think, I keep thinking that this tool, PO4A, is a the right tool, the tool well suited for man pages translation. We have on the Debian inter, hard to say, Debian I89 mailing list. This is why abbreviations are meant for. Uh, very clue, clueful people to help software authors, especially those who maintain Debian uh, native packages to write in, in their man pages and make them translatable. Okay, that's a bit advertisement. So, barely the main point of this whole talk was not only making you laughing on my ridicule attempt to make all things work, but just say say you that translators love PO. This is the base of our work. This is how we like working, and we are trying to bring everyone to PO. So it was obvious for PO DebConf three years ago. It's obvious for software for a long time. For GNU utilities are very well get textized. And this is a running process for other things such as documentation. If those of you who were in the Debian installer talk yesterday may remember of Franz Pop talking about, talking about the installation guide translation, and uh, he said that we had a, a lot of new languages after switching to PO format, because it's very well suited for maintenance. <clears throat> so the main point is just PO it, and of course, PO4A works. So 
Now I am finished with my talk. <laughs> okay, it's a very rude. And yes, my battery is now completely charged. As you may see, I'm a translator, so I use my translation. I use the translation made by my translators of my team. This is interesting because uh, Marga yesterday said, just use the software you user will use. I do use translation. My locale is a French locale. Oh, okay, I'm not a geek, I'm not a deep hacker. That's maybe why, but please think about it. Use your language in your software and use it with Never. your language. Never. Never. <laughs> and the comment, the comment was never. Okay, if there are more questions about PO4A, I think we will be happy to answer them. Yeah, there are questions, actually. Yeah, more, more than a question, it's just a comment. I mean, the, um, I, one of my, it, um, I, it supports PO and so on, it's done in, in Python, and uh, for example, I found that um, Python's um, locale is not, um, it does not support Catalan, Basque, on, on Galician. So, I mean, um, there are some, some places where, where some languages cannot be internationalized because of the, um, because the software does not support them yet. But do you have an idea of uh, the reasons which makes this uh, yeah, software? Yeah, of course. It's, it's a file, a Python file called locale.py that doesn't have the, those languages in the list. And I think it doesn't have also um, uh, Norwich, uh, well, whatever, talk in Norway, and, um, and some more. And they have two languages, languages in yeah. Norway, so to make things very clear. Uh, well, Typical Debian answer, file a bug. <laughs> I, I did some months ago. Yeah, but this is the only way. If, uh, if in a list of languages, your language is for whatever reason not listed, the only way to do it is filing a bug and deal with upstream author if this is a problem with upstream author. I have no other answer, I guess. <laughs> Um, you mentioned that more and more people use DocBook XML for man pages, which I think is a great idea and should be done. Um, could you elaborate on the two tools you mentioned before handling PO with XML? You want me to compare, I guess, PO4A and PO-XML and all these kind of tools? For you had a list with three tools, PO4A yeah. and two XML-related mm -hmm. tools, mm -hmm. that you maybe say two or three sentences is about the two XML-related tools, mm -hmm. as I'm very much interested in it, and I write all my main pages in DocBook XML. Um, so I'm very much interested how can I help translators. And which tool that. to choose, for instance? Until now, none. <laughs> So that's why I ask. <laughs> I've, I don't have a definitive advice. Uh, France Pop chose POXML for the installation guide translation with very good reason. I would hope he would be here to give his reason because I'm not sure I'm aware of his reason. There are some differences in the way, for instance, to split the strings in paragraphs, sentence, to deal with XML tags. Either you have to keep them in uh, translations or not. Uh, the idealistic way would be to get rid of XML tags in translation because this is very risky for translators to make mistakes in these tags. So this will be the point uh, for choosing the right translation tool. I know there have been some efforts to use an XML module in PO4A. I don't know, Nicola, if it is completely perfect. I talked with, uh, with Franz, and he, he said that he split uh, the paragraph too much to the head of the Yeah. yeah. I 
Yeah, uh, I think Nicola is saying that uh, talking with Franz Pop, the problem of PO4A was it split it paragraph in two small sentences, bringing them out of context. This is a problem of getting the sentences in context. For documentation, this is very important for to avoid um, errors because of missing context. So this is a challenge for all these tools to use the right formatting, not too long strings, not too short strings, and deal, for instance, with XML tags. And this was the reason, and we talked, yes, with uh, France about, this was the reason of the choice for POXML. My uh, switch off, now it's on. <laughs> Anyway, Nicola, you want to add something? No. Okay. I don't know if it answers your question. Probably not, because if you expect me to give you the... It has to be discussed, for instance, with the internationalization people in the Debian I-18 and mailing list. This is also the point of this supposed talk to give pointer that this list is the place you have the people to talk with, the real specialist, not me, please. Yeah. Uh, there was a project some years ago to translate the package descriptions. What happened to that and what are the plans for that? As far as I know, but Grisu would better answer than me, uh, this, pack, this effort is to be revived. Uh, there has been some work during DevConf, yes, to bring it back to life. And Grizzle would talk. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, we have some problems in the past, and we start again with the Debian translation, a uh, description translation project. Um, I hope I can mail some mails in, in two weeks or so. Um, I start um, some tests on my computer, and um, after that, I will make an announcement. Um, today, I wait for FTP Master to take the old translations um, on FTP Master, and after that, the apt team um, will patch, um, include the patch in apt so that we have translation support in Edge and in SIT. Um, after that, um, we will start again with the translation um, to catch up the uh, changes from the last year. And the ideas are floating around this uh, DDTP revival thing. Another problem we have, and I've been, several people told me about this, we have many, many places where translation work occurs in Debian. We have the web, website translation, PO Debcom stuff, PO stuff for native packages. We have packages, descriptions, and all these are uh, in various places. We have to converge with, to some kind of common tool maybe online tool, making it very easy for translators to pick up for material to translate. As someone told yesterday, I don't remember if it's here, uh, it has to be as easy as possible to, for translators to pick up work. Translators should not be SVN or CVS or Baz wizards. They don't, just don't. They, some of them are using Windows. So, it has to be as easy as possible. Yeah. Uh, related to what you just said, how does it work with a man page translation um, for uh, if you translate this unique man page to German and then the man page is update, updated, how does the, the translators know to update the translation with the man page? Well, currently, uh, for Unique, for instance, which is uh, part of the file, ut file utils here, uh, package, uh, there is no way, because this package and this software has not been converted to PO4A. Uh, what we need to set up is to set up a status page for things which already worked. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned APT show versions, PO4A. Those are the only two actually <laughs> work. Okay. We have 
it's not really true what I'm saying. For those ones, this translation already appear on the PO, general PO status page. This is a thing made by Denis Barbier, which collects all the PO files in all translations, which are not PO Debcom stuff. Mm. So for instance, the few man pages translated that way in Debian package appear somewhere here. So we barely have some kind of framework, yes. But not very perfect, far from perfect, far from what you can see in web-based translation things such as Rosetta or Poodle, for instance. So the idea is to make a status page with these things and then people who want to work on translating can see yes. there what needs to be done. At the minimum, yes. Yeah. Uh, idealistically have some kind of uh, web-based translation tool. Yeah. So I would be delighted to use, for instance, Rosetta yeah. for Debian. As soon as we deal with the licensing problem with Rosetta. So the main goal currently is more to set up a Putol server, Putol, P-O-O-T-L-E. This is a free project about web-based translation uh, made by translate.org people. It is packaged for Debian. We just I just discovered it a few days ago because the guy who did the uh, package did, forgot to announce it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there are ideas floating around, but not very well formalized. I think that the work made by Grisou and Otavio Salvador this week will end up in something quite nice. I don't know what exactly. I hope so, I hope so yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? So again, thank you people to attend this very nice presentation.